video, we will demonstrate how to use the B150 bridge. Use a scribe or spring camera to gently remove any loose glass and contaminants from the pit area and use a brush or dust blower to remove the remaining fine dust. Center the injector end seal hole directly over the pit and flip the locking lever to the horizontal position. When the bridge is properly positioned, screw the injector cylinder down until the white end seal just touches the glass, then advance an additional quarter of a turn. Do the same for the leveling screw located on the back of the bridge. When injecting resin, be sure to get the resin to the bottom of the injector so it fills the end seal. Screw the plunger into the cylinder. As the tip of the plunger enters the end seal, you will notice increased resistance. Now that I feel the resistance, I will continue screwing the plunger into the cylinder until I begin to see the resin flow. It's recommended to leave it in its first pressure cycle for approximately 5 minutes. To initiate the vacuum cycle, slowly unscrew the plunger until you see air bubbles rising up through the resin and into the injector. Allow 30 seconds or until you no longer see air movement in the damage. We will repeat the pressure and vacuum cycles until air is removed and replaced with resin. Always end your repair on a pressure cycle to ensure the brake is filled completely. Remove the bridge by placing the flip lever in the vertical position. Once the bridge is removed, a drop of curing resin is placed in the pit area, covered with a curing tab and cured according to standard Delta Kit's recommendations.